Gitbook Tutorial or How to Use Gitbook for Documentation or White Paper Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Gitbook for documentation or white paper. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kind of go to gitbook.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Gitbook, it is a modern documentation platform that provides a range of services for businesses and technical teams to create, manage, and share knowledge through documentation in which Gitbook is a flexible platform for all kinds of content and collaboration, providing a single unified workspace for different users to create, manage, and share content without using multiple tools. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail by clicking this pricing option on the top panel. You will see below here some of the plan that they offer, including personal, plus, pro, and enterprise plan. And below here, you will see the corresponding prices and benefits that also included on each plan. But in those plan, I'm going to choose the personal plan since it is only for free, and to do that, you can proceed by clicking the Start for Free button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to sign up, you can use your email address, your Google account, and even you can continue using your GitHub account. But in those options, I'm going to choose to continue using my Google account. So kind of click on it, and upon clicking on it, you'll be able to be directed on this page. And from here, you can customize your name of your organization. And also below, you can select your answer to their question, what are you using Gitbook for? And in those options, I'm going to select the answer, knowledge base. And proceed by clicking the continue button below. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which the next thing that you need to do is to invite your teammates by simply entering their email address in here. And you could also choose their position, such as reader, commenter, editor, and many more. Or alternatively, you can skip this part by clicking I will do this later button. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this dashboard of kitbook.com. In which from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can navigate, including the workspace, the import content, the templates, and also the other option on the left side panel. And as you can see, we're currently on our first page, which has no title. And in this space, you can see on the top panel of it some of the options, including change requests, in which by clicking on it, you will see here the follow up, the in review, draft, merge, and archive, in which from here, you will see some of the lists of your request to help you collaborate asynchronously on your content with other people. And aside from that, on the top panel, you could also navigate the customize option on the top panel, in which by clicking on it, from here, you will be able to customize your space, including the general or your title and icon, your logo. However, to customize your logo, you must have an upgrade account. However, you could also choose a free theme that is offered below here. And those theme including the default, bold, contrast, and custom themes. And aside from that, you could also choose either light mode or dark mode. And you can even choose your primary color right here. And also, if you scroll down below here on the left side panel, you could also customize the corner style to make your space more creative to look at with other users. Now going back to this page, from here, under the insights option on the top panel, you will see here the data of your traffic for the last days, last week, last month, or even last year. So in this option, you can track the number of your traffics. And aside from that, from here, you could also navigate the integrations in which by simply clicking on it, it will show you some other application that you could also integrate in Gitbook, including Google Analytics, The Mermaid, Slack, Figma, GitHub Piles, Discord, Runkit, Jira, and many more. And below, it will show you the purpose of these integrations in your Gitbook spaces. Just for Fathom, which is to receive Gitbook traffic's insights directly in your Fathom dashboard. So if you want those integration, you can simply download it or install in order to integrate in this platform. 
Now going back in here to start customizing your page. From here, you can simply add or change the title. So for instance, I'm going to enter here, sample page. And below the title, you could also add a notes or the page description. And aside from that, on the top of page, you could also utilize the page option in which by clicking on it, it will show you on the right side panel some of the options that you could also navigate or include in your page, such as the content of page title, page description, slide bars, and also the footer section. And if you don't want to include any of those, you could also turn this off. Aside from that, by clicking the page cover at the top of your title page, it will show you a picture that will serve as the page cover of the page that you're generating. And aside from that, you could also customize this cover by selecting an image from your computer files, make it reposition, to make it full width, and many more. And now, to start adding your notes, your description, you can start entering some of the context that you prefer in this page. And from here, if you type the symbols, it will show you the options below. And those options are the one that you can insert on this as a note, including inline image, emoji, link, embed the URL, table, cards, to-do list, and many more. So let's say I want to add this as a to-do list or task list. So from here, it will show you the check boxes and you could also customize the title, for example, task 1 and task 2 for the second checklist. And if you're now done to those tasks, you can simply check the check boxes. And aside from this task list, you can also add table, an image, emoji, link, and any other sample as a content in your page. And also, to add a title to your page, you can customize it on this top panel right here. So for instance, I'm going to enter the title as sample 1. And aside from that, if you want to add another page, you can proceed by clicking new page and it will show you a variety of options that you can choose to add a new page, including to add new document page, new group, new link, or even import a new pages. And aside from that, if you want to add a workspace, kindly click this new space on the left side panel and it will show you another space that you could also customize, such as to add a title, a notes, and other content that you could also input here using some of those options. And aside from that, if you want to create a page using templates, kindly click this templates button on the left side panel, which below here, it will show you a lot of templates for product docs, RFCs, API docs, daily planning, design system, internal wiki, or even meeting notes. And you can use those templates in order to make your life easy in generating your own pages. And aside from that, from here, you could also invite your team by clicking this button on the left side panel. All you need to do is to enter here the email address of your teammates, or you can copy these links and send it to the email address of your teammates to join or collaborate on your spaces. So that is just how you can use Gitbook for documentation or white paper. Thank you.